cute too kick i'm average and it's okay here's why i'm gonna tell you a quick little story and then this will make more sense back back in the day when i was trying to really build up on youtube at one point i wanted to be not average anymore i would go out of my way to ask for sponsorships and all these stuff and it actually started working out for me um and this is the time of a smoking marijuana pretty heavy and i wanted to as you can see i got bongs in the back but that's not TAC. I was smoking TAC pretty heavy, getting high all the time because I thought it was cool and I thought it was going to make me better than average, right? I was putting all my time in. I made a thousand videos in six months. I just thought I was that dude. Um, and what ended up happening is ended up ruining my mind, sent me to a world of a nightmare for 10 months. For 10 months, I felt like I was crazy. I felt like I was going to die every day with having panic attacks, anxiety to the root, okay? Because I was trying so hard not to be the average person. I was trying so hard to get 10,000 subscribers on YouTube because I thought that would make me special. Something I could boast about. And now I notice nobody gives a fuck about that, man. At the end of the day, I need to start using my beat. Let me try that again. At the end of the day, nobody gives a fuck about that. You know what I'm saying? At all. <laughs> that was so quiet. But um, it's cool, man. And I want to say this, man, it, it, like being average doesn't make you a failure. I think so many people think that if they're because you get a lot of people who say now there's a difference between being average and pushing yourself. If you push yourself as hard as you can and you only mean that and that means making sixty thousand dollars a year at the end of your life in your 50s and you're only making sixty five, seventy five thousand dollars a year. That's good money, man. That's enough to take care of your family, you pay, get insurance. You, I mean, you do the best you can, you invest the best you can and try to make as much money as you can that way. But to say that because you're not making six figures, you're a bum. Too many people want to be not average that they end up doing stupid stuff to not be average. Too many people are honestly giving everything they can not to be average, to make money that's not average. I'm seeing all this stuff on kick.com. I'm seeing all this stuff on uh, kick right now, right? I love kick, don't get me wrong. Like, I don't, I, honestly, I don't care about kick like that. It's whatever. It's a streaming service. I don't know what's going to happen in the next couple of years. My point is, I see a lot of people getting on Twitter and be like, I didn't think I was going to share this, but F it. Let me share it. And they're going to say, I make it a thousand. I'm going to make a thousand dollars a month payout for subs. It's like, okay, a thousand dollars a month is may seem like a lot, but that's not a lot for somebody who works a nine to five. That's a lot for somebody who's on Twitch. That's a lot for somebody maybe who has a side hustle. I am not against that. But that is not life-changing money. It is not. But it's okay. But my problem is, first of all, the vast majority of people are never going to see that kind of money on kick because it's hard to get, unless you already have built up a, a fan base, you're never going to get there. And even if you have, you may still have nobody. But so many people go out of their way, one, to prove that they're not average, and two, to try not to be average. That's what I think. That's what that's my feeling. When I see people get on kick and when I see people get on Twitter and be like, hey guys, I just want to show you how much money I'm making off a of kick. And blah 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 blah. It's some of them are maybe being genuine, but my feeling sometimes is like you're just trying to show people that you're making money and that they're not. And I'm meaning like you're trying to show that you're above average. And you're not. I'm sorry, a thousand dollars a month to me isn't like crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like if you got on if you got on Twitter and said Hey guys, I make seventeen thousand dollars a month from Kick, a month. Like, what are you doing that for? Are you trying to get people on the stream to say you can make it in life, but you already know that the vast majority of people are never going to do that, right? At least be honest. Be like, hey guys, this is money. I wouldn't even say you can do it too. I'd be like, maybe you can. You probably won't though. I mean, sometimes it's luck, and sometimes it's just you're good at what you do. But. You, some people just spend so much time trying to prove that they're not average that they end up doing all these non-average things. It's what we see with the Instagram models in the Dubai fiasco we saw, right? When literally IG models were going over to Dubai to get defecated on and getting golden showers and get treated like trash all to look like they have money. It's all just to make it look like they had money. They take pictures on these fake planes. They take pictures over in Dubai all to make it seem like they're not average you got people who scam people who get on here not on this streaming service i'm talking more instagram honestly but more people who get on instagram and they pretend to be these big gamblers and they pretend to make all this money off of gambling when they know that you know statistically speaking most people will never make money off gambling but you're sitting here lying to people and saying you're making money off of gambling when 
even if you just do the best gamblers in the world, the vast majority of them are making 3% a year, right? 3% more than what they, you know, what they put in, right? So you're, you're looking at a, that average of a 3%, like, that's hard to explain. Let's say I, I gamble $100 and I'm only gonna get $3 back. That's gambling. That's like the most you're gonna get back. And obviously that number increases when you have a bankroll. If you're betting $10 million a year, of course 3% means something. That makes a big difference. But it doesn't mean anything for the average person. And that's just what I think people people don't understand when they see these scammers on Instagram and they got these guys who are saying, yeah, I, I can increase your bankroll by 80%. No, you're not. I don't care how much you tell me to go do draft picks or price or prize picks. It doesn't matter what you think about it. Gambling is a losing man's game. Only the people who are sharps can pick right. Only people who really know, like they study it, they know it, and they can stomach the loss. Because even the best gamblers in the world are gonna lose money. So to think that there's guys on here saying you're gonna get an 80% profit back, is just an absolute flat lie. And that's what I think so many people are trying to prove. Instead of the gambler just being like, hey guys, you may get 10% back, that's okay. But they, they want to try so hard not to be the average person. They go to the extreme. I use that example because you see it on YouTube. You see it on social media. You see it on TikTok. So many people do stupid stuff. And when I say stupid, I'm not calling them stupid. I mean, they're doing stuff knowing that it's dumb and they do it anyway with the hope of maybe they go viral when the vast majority of people aren't gonna go. And even if you do go viral, they call it viral because you'll get out there and then you'll get nothing. And then you'll get out there and you'll have nothing, right? You'll get out there and you'll have a vast, you'll get to all this popularity and probably lose it. <clears throat> you won't know what to do with it. All I'm saying is if you're fighting so hard not to be average, you're probably gonna end up average, but it's okay. You are not a failure. If you don't blow up on YouTube, you are not a failure. If you don't blow up on the internet, it's okay to go get a nine to five and be able to support your family with a job. But people look so down upon that. They think it's so stupid and it's a scam for you to go to your job, work a nine to five where they tell you, they, where they tell you you're going to make a certain amount of money. And then you make that money because people think, Oh, because you can get replaced at a nine to five. They don't care about you. Do you think if you got on YouTube and you got really popular at the second you stop making videos, what do you think the people who used to watch you, what do you think is going to happen? You think they're going to wait on hand and foot for you to come back to YouTube if you disappear for a year? No, they're going to go find other people to watch. You will be replaced on YouTube. The second you stop making videos on YouTube, you will be replaced the next day. Now your videos will be evergreen. You'll still be out there. But when you're not making any new content, YouTube will your videos will start disappearing. You will, you will fall right out of the algorithm. Just like that and be replaced. At the snap of a button, snap of a button, at the push of a button, you'll be gone. And think about this, at any point, YouTube really honestly can just bloop, delete your channel. If they don't feel like what they, you, they like you doing, gone. It's the same thing. So why do people think that the internet's any different? If Twitch wants to ban you, boop, you're banned. If Kick decides to ban you, boop, won't push a button, you out. So stop thinking that nine to fives are a scam because you can be replaced. You can be replaced anywhere, buddy. I'm sorry, all of us are replaceable. Unless you have a skill. And I'm sorry. Even I'm gonna speak for myself. Most of us streamers and YouTubers, we don't have a skill that can't be replaced on YouTube. There's too many people. Like we have great knowledge, but vast majority of us don't have any skills that are so important to YouTube or Twitch or Kick that somebody couldn't replace us the next day. It's, it's, it's just the way it goes. So, I just wanted to make this quick video and tell y'all it's okay. All right, so what we're gonna do, I got something special for y'all and that's gonna commence in about 15 minutes. I will see y'all in 15 minutes. Peace. Oh, you, YouTube, this had nothing to do with y'all. Y'all are, are watching this in an actual video, so don't worry about that. All right. Thanks.